all right so this is what we got this is our water system here at our deer camp we did a little engineering to come up with this we got our main holding tank which is a 330 gallon we'll come up there with the suction we'll go straight to the pump with it you got to make sure that you put the check valve on these well pumps facing the pump if it already has a pressure switch or else the discharge if you put it on the discharge side it'll keep the pump will cycle on and off on and off figured that out through trial and error but anyhow coming off the discharge I got a union there in case I have to break it loose anytime and fix it we come down to the T this uh, this pump cycles on on at 30 pounds and it'll kick off at 50 so it goes in the tank pressurizes the tank comes back out of the Y this line here goes all is our feeder line all the way down all the way down so we're gonna put three trailers on that feeder line we got all the little hose bibs and a valve for each trailer alright now back to the discharge we've got a separate takeoff here this is gonna to be to our skinning rack or utilities whatever you wanted to use this one for put a hose bib on this and you could use it um, off the discharge of this pump off this T right here is a uh, this is an RV and it's set at 75 pounds if for some reason I don't know if the Sun will heat up that water in that tank enough but if it gets hot enough it'll relieve I've got it relieving back back right into the suction line which it'll actually come in and go back to the tank because you're gonna have your 50 pounds right here on this check valve so back to that we've also got a setup where in the dead of winter when it gets real real cold you come over here and you turn this valve and you just barely leave it cracked and bleeding down and that'll bleed the tank pressure down through this discharge back into the tank and then as the pressure falls down to 30 pounds the pump will kick back on so it'll recycle recirculate water from the suction up through the discharge into the pressurized tank and then back out this line like a minimum flow now another thing we did was we have another tank that we run to the rancher's house and get water it's a it's a bigger tank 330 gallon tank we've got a inch and a half T right here comes off and you can tie in we're gonna get some unions and connect that you can see that hose on that other one it's two inch spa hose heavy wall for suction what we'll do what we have done already and it works great let's come over to this main tank block this valve in open this black valve it pulls suction through that hose from that other tank which will be on a trailer coming from the rancher's house we'll pull suction in here through the pump into this discharge header and then we built a, a fill line this is a fill line three quarter inch PVC it goes up side of this tank right into there so we can pull off of that second tank through that through that hose into this inch and a half got to make sure you're blocked there so you're not getting, not getting anywhere line this one up line this one up kick the pump on and the pump will run until until that other tanks dry because it's not actually seeing the it's not pressuring up the tank so but this is our setup I got this little Wayne pump off of a uh, Amazon a couple hundred bucks and then a hundred and a half or so for this pressurized tank but a uh, pretty simple design it's gonna work good for us if y'all are interested in any of this stuff leave comments and I'll uh, I'll try to answer them the best I can thanks for watching